Okay. So question number one. Eh, sekejap apa ada masalah? Try to I don't know. Okay. Okay, question number one. So what is the answer for question number one? Uh, which of the following electronic components can store charge and also smoothen the output current of a rectification circuit? What is the answer for this one? Answer, the clue is uh, smoothen the output current. Okay, C. C, uh, untuk capacitor, okay? Check, red. Okay, so the answer is capacitor. So that is the function of a capacitor, uh, which is to smoothen the output current in a rectification uh, circuit. Okay, next one. Question number two. Um, diagram 1.1 shows the oscilloscope trace produced by an input of 2 volt at a frequency of 50 hertz. Diagram 1.2 shows the trace from a new input on the same oscilloscope. Okay, so what is the value of the new input? What is the value of the new input? Now this one, the original um, diagram, um, input two volt, input of two volt uh, means that can um, this is two volt, and then what is the meaning of frequency? Frequency is the number of oscillation in one second the number of one complete oscillation in one second okay so this is 50 hertz now in the second diagram okay so this is the second diagram um, look at the amplitude of the wave is it still the same as the first one in the, diag uh, in the first diagram is it the same the amplitude Yang ini. Adakah dia sama seperti yang the first one? If it is the same, then uh, dia punya input voltage is also the same. Okay? So this one is still the same, 2 volt. Now what about the frequency? What about the frequency? Increase, decrease or doesn't change? Now choose uh, which one is the correct answer. Okay, so answer should be mana satu. It's either B or C. C, answer is C. Okay, let's check. Yes, the answer is C. Now, the frequency is two times the original value because, uh, as you can see, the number of waves produced in one second has increased. Okay, the number of waves produced in one second, a uh, number of waves produced has increased two times. So it means that the frequency is also um, double. The frequency is double, so it becomes 100 hertz. All right. The amplitude is still the same, so the input voltage is still the same, 2 volt. But the frequency has now doubled uh, because the number of the complete oscillation has doubled, doubled by 2. Okay, so the answer is C. Okay, next one. Question number three. Question number three, diagrams 2A and 2B shows the display of waveform 
on CRO screen from the different source. Which pair of amplitude and frequency is correct to explain the difference of diagram 2B from diagram 2A? So in terms of the amplitude, what can you say about the amplitude? Higher or lower? Okay. The amplitude of in diagram B is more than in diagram A. So maksudnya, we will choose this one, kan? Okay, next. What about the frequency? What about the frequency? The A frequency in A is more than in B. Yes. If you see the number of um, oscillations produced in one second is um, more, means the frequency is high. So we will choose this answer is inilah kan? Lebih rendah. So let's see the answer. Okay. So the answer is D. Okay. Because it is referring to referring to diagram 2B from diagram 2A. Okay. Yeah, so they can compare begitulah B to A. Okay. So the answer is D. Okay. Next one. Number four. Okay, number four, diagram three shows an atomic structure of an intrinsic material of pure semiconductor. Now, pure semiconductor, uh, it is either, pure semiconductor, it is either we use silicon or germanium. Okay, and both of these element is in group number four. Means that it has four um electron valence in the outer shell. So which impurity element should be added to form N-type semiconductor? N-type semiconductor. Mana satu? Now to... Um, to select the correct answer for this one, uh, I usually use acronyms. Untuk yang N-type, untuk N-type, I usually use this one lah. APA. Napa. And for the P-type, uh, for the P-type kan, uh, I use B-I-G. Big P. So, yang ini N type, N type A P A A is A is apa? P is apa? A apa? Anyone can guess? Masih ingat lagi? Okay, tengok balik itu periodic table. So, to produce N type, we should apa? Add Pentavalent atoms ataupun trivalent atoms. Mana satu? Which one? Penta or tri? To produce N. Ya, yeah, penta kan? So yang ini ya. Kita tengok sini. <coughs> okay. So kalau penta, means dia daripada group, group 5. This one is group 5. Penta. Okay. So, tadi tu N napa. So, P, A, and also this one. Yang A satu lagi tu adalah actually for antimony. Antimony. Okay. Arsenic, phosphorus, or antimony. So, itu yang cikgu tulis tadi tu. NAPA. Okay? NAPA. 
So tulis balik sana. This one is arsenic, phosphorus, and this one is antimony. Even though dia punya um, symbol of element for antimony is Sb. Okay, so we 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 usually um, apalah uh, apa tu say dia punya commercial name antimony. Okay, kalau big P for the P type, P type is from trivalent atoms. Trivalent atoms is usually from group three. Sebelah kiri dia tu lah. This one is group three, so trivalent atom. So it's either boron, indium, or gallium. So that's why I put just now B I G. Okay, B I G to produce P type semiconductor. Boron, indium, and gallium. So the correct answer for this one. Uh, to form n-type semiconductor, ialah phosphorus lah kan? Nah, phosphorus. Because the other three, Big, ini, Big will form p-type semiconductor. Okay, so there is one way for you to memorize uh, what are the elements suitable to be used as um, the for the doping material for the semiconductor okay okay next moving on uh, to question number five okay question number five um, diagram four shows two diodes which are connected in parallel in a circuit when switch s is closed which bulb will light up Which one? When switch S is closed, which bulb will light up? To understand uh, this one, you have to know uh, the punya characteristic. Current flows, if the switch is closed, Okay, kalau dia sudah close di sana tu, if the switch is closed, then the circuit is completed, then current will be able to flow. Now current will flow from from positive terminal to negative terminal. Okay, so it, this is the current flow, current flowing. Now for the diode, um, what is the characteristics of the diode? It only allows current to flow in one direction only. And it has to be connected to the correct terminals for the current to flow. So in this case, in this case, um, is this LED connected correctly to the battery? Adakah someone yang betul? Okay. Kalau sambungan dia betul means can the current flow through it? Can kan? So current can flow through it, but what about this? This one. No kan? Cannot because it is in reverse bias. Only when the LED is connected in forward bias, then the current will be able to flow it through it and the bulb will be able to light up. Okay, so ini kita tulis di sana in forward bias. Forward bias. And this one is in reverse bias because of the connection is not connected to um, the correct terminals. So what is the answer for this one? Which um, bulb will light up?
mana satu. Answer is C. Only P and R. Okay, let's check the answer. Okay, yes. The answer is C. Only P and R will be able to light up because of the connection of um, the LED is correct. All right. So, itu current hanya boleh flowing through this one. Okay, and then back to the negative terminal. All right. Okay, next, question number six. Question number six, uh, diagram five shows the process of thermionic emission. So which of the following is correct about X and Y? Mana satu? Which of the following is correct about X and Y? What is X? What do you need to do? to the metal to release Y. Yes, you have to heat it up, kan? So it means that uh, the possible answer is either this one or this one. Okay, and then what is Y? Electron, yes. So electron is this one. Kan? So the correct answer, yes, it is C. Okay, so you have to supply enough heat uh, to the metal for it to release electrons from its surface. Okay, so answer is C. Okay, next one, question number seven. Question number seven. Okay, diagram six shows a circuit light up the light emitting diode LED during daylight. Okay, this one is during daylight. Okay, remember yesterday we have discussed this one. If we want it to light up during um, daylight, you have to put the LED at the upper part or at the collector circuit. And if you want it to automatically switch on during nighttime, you have to put the LED at the base circuit. Base circuit maksudnya yang sebelah bawah lah. Okay. So, which of the component, uh, which of the following is correct about components X and Y? Apakah X and apakah Y? What do you need to have at X and also at Y? Answer C, X is, yes, X is LDR and Y is the resistor. Okay, let's check. Huh? Yes, answer is C. So you should put the, the LDR, di sini kan? Sorry. Here is the LDR. And di sini ni adalah dia punya resistor. Okay. What is the sim how is the symbol of the LDR? Can you draw? What is the symbol of the LDR? Circle and then okay. Kenapat. Okay, so ini simbol untuk LDR. Okay, next. Um, 8. Nah, ini dia punya apa sedikit uh, calculation punya question. What is the value of RT? How do we calculate this question? 
Uh, what is the formula? The formula is like we have uh, discussed yesterday. Mana uh, sudah Yeah, this is the formula. Okay. This is the formula for the calculation. Okay. Uh, VB. B stands for. B yang ini ni stands for base. Voltage at the base. This one, ah, sini base voltage. And to calculate that one, we use R Y over total um, resistance in the circuit, which is R Y you plus with R X because these our uh, resistors are connected in series. Oke, okay. itu saja yang kamu tambah sana. Rx and Ry, the ones that are connected in series. No need to include this one or this one. Oke, okay. and then you times with the total voltage of the whole circuit. Oke, okay. you times with the total voltage for the whole circuit. Now, applying that formula to this question. What is the value of RT? What is the value of RT? Have you got the answer? Coba kira dulu berapa kamu dapat untuk yang 8. Dapatkah? Actually, dia buat ratio saja ni ya. Uh, VT over total voltage. Now, the total voltage here, you can add by finding the sum of both of this because it will be equals to V. Okay, so VT plus VI then equals to equals to RT over total resistance. RT plus R. Jadi di sini 3 over 8. 3 over 8. RT over RT plus 10. Then cross multiplication. 3 RT plus 30 equals to 8 RT. 30 equals to 5 RT. 
RT equals to 6. Ngam ka? Ngam ka nam? Check na. Okay. Correct answer is 6. Okay? So you only need to find the ratio. The ratio of the voltage and the ratio of the resistance in the circuit. Boleh? Did you find this question hard? Susah sikit, tapi actually kalau kamu paham, uh, if you know how to use the formula, and apalah, analyze uh, where to find dia punya apa tu, the values, then it is easy to answer lah, kan? Actually dia tidaklah susah sangat. The only thing is you know how to apply it to formula dia. And this formula is not given in the exam. Okay, this formula is not given in the exam. So you have to know how to use the formula to answer. For sure, mesti ada satu soalan yang akan keluar pasal ini. Mesti. Okay? Tapi jangan takut. Okay, next one. Huh? Uh, we'll discuss... Uh, okay, ini. Page 152. Page 152. Okay. Page 152. Okay, the diagram shows a transistor circuit. Resistor P has a resistance of 10 kilo ohm. Resistor P has a resistance of 10 kilo ohm. Okay, this one 10 kilo ohm. In order to light up the bulb, the potential difference across resistor P must be at least. 2 volt. So, itu dia punya syarat. At least 2 volt. Okay? So, bahagian sini di bawah ni, this is what we call as the base circuit. Base circuit. Ada dua kan? Uh, the circuit is divided into two. The upper part, the upper part is the collector, collector circuit. Okay? Because kalau transistor, this one is C, this one is B, this one is E. Collector, base, emitter. So yang bahagian bawah itu, because dia adalah BE, this one is base circuit. Okay? So what is the maximum value of resistor S when the bulb lights up? Hmm, tu dia punya soalan. What is the maximum value of resistor S when the bulb lights up. So, apa jawapan dia? Can you guess? Now, the total uh, voltage supplied to the circuit is 12 volt. And the minimum value of the potential difference at this part here must be at least 2 volt. Jadi kalau di sini lah kan at least dia adalah 2 volt for um, to be able for the base to be switched on. So berapa lah maximum value di sini? What is the maximum value? Ini tolak saja. Answer, answer. No answer? <laughs> 50? Ya, 
Yang lain? Ten. 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 Uh, did you use the formula just now? Yaitu ratio. <laughs> Ryan. Oke. Okay. Begini ya. Uh, total voltage is 12 kan? Total voltage is 12. Now dia bagi tahu tadi. Um, the potential difference across resistor P must be at least 2 volt. This one is resistor P. Ini resistor P. So in order for it to be able to switch on the base, uh, the potential difference across it must be at least 2 volt. So the remaining um, voltage um, between X and Y, yeah. The remaining voltage across X and Y, it should be apa? 12 minus 2, it should be 10 volt bangan. Sini dia punya uh, balance. It should be 10 volt. Okay? And then, kita buat ratio saja lah. Berapa? Kalau yang di bahagian atas, we are going to find uh, itu dia punya resistance for S. Okay, so I put there 10 volt over total voltage is 12 kan? 10 plus 2. And then equals to, we are going to find the resistance as X, at X. And then the total resistance is S. U plus with 10. SU plus with 10. Ini ya. Resistance for this one. Because it is connected in series. So the sum of the resistance is. Kamu tambah. So S plus 10. Okay. Sekarang coba kira. Can you get what is the value of S? 10 S. Plus 100. Equals to. 12S. 100 equals to 12S minus 10S is 2S. So S is 50. Okay. 50. Jadi Ryan ngam lah. Ngam kah? Kita cek ah jawaban dia. We check the answer. Solution. Yeah. Betul. 50 kilo ohm. Alright. Answer is 50 kilo ohm. So that's why when you get this question, uh, kita cari dia punya ratio saja. Ratio of the potential difference and the ratio of the total resistance. Itu saja. Okay. And now, okay sudah yang ini. Do you understand? You want me to repeat or should we continue to the next question? Next question. Okay. Ryan, okay? Okay. Bah, number two. Question number two. Right. Question number two. The diagram shows a symbol of an NPN transistor. What is the value of IE? What is the value of IE? Yes, answer. Does this one involve any complicated formula or do you have, you just have to minus the value? 
to get value of IE. C, because dia adalah collector, means it is the sum of the current in base and also at the emitter. Jadi, what is the value of IE? If you are already given the value of current at C and current at B. So answer should be hundred fifteen. What about the rest? Check ah. Okay. Kebalik kok kan? Wait. Uh. Salah kah saya pagi pemila? Oh, oke okay, oke okay, oke. Okay. Tuna tuna. Nih. Ya. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I wrote down the wrong formula just now. So it should be kalau emitter. Uh, the emitter. It is the total of the current at B and C. So tambah lah kan? Yang tadi itu tambah. Tambah. This one I salah. Okay. Okay. So answer is one hundred twenty-five milliampere. Okay. Next. Okay. Question number three. Okay. Name component P. What is P? Apa itu P di sini? LDR. Okay, LDR. And when you write LDR, um, it is safer for you to write um, in full light emitting diode. Eh, sorry, not light emitting diode, light a dependent resistor. Ataupun, if you want to write short form LDR, uh, better write it in capital letter. Yeah, tulis ya capital letter lah. Ataupun light dependent resistor. Okay, and then what is the function of component P? What is the function of LDR? Function. Okay, sambil sambil tu, what is the function of resistor R?
Any answer? So LDR just now, the function is to measure the light intensity. Okay, so itu dia punya function di sana. LDR, it is to measure uh, the light intensity. So by um, depending on the light intensity, with whether it is bright or whether it is dark, so it will determine the resistance, the output resistance. Okay. Now resistor, apa function dia? You have learned this before in chapter electricity. What is the function of resistor R? Ini. To apa? To limit apa? To limit electric current. Okay. To limit <coughs> to limit the current flowing. Then, next, uh, question C. Uh, what happens to potential difference VP at night? Nah, apa jadi? So, you have to remember lah, dia punya position, kan? Uh, the position of the LDR. This one, the position is put at the base circuit di bawah okay jadi um, means that the light will automatically switch on during night time so what happens to the potential difference at night increase decrease increase yes sebab sebab kenapa increase in order for the base the base uh, the switch at the base to switch on uh, the value of the voltage across in the base circuit should be high kan uh, so that it will be able to turn on the switch and the light bulb will be able to switch on also Okay. Number two, explain why the bulb is lighted up at night. Hmm. How? Cuma nasa satu explanation yang yesterday kita punya discussion tu. Tengok job ni jawapan lah. Uh, Only read yang English punya. Okay. C2. This one just now, VP increases, VP increases. Okay, yang second one, uh, patu, at night, the LDR has a very high resistance. LDR has a very high resistance. So when resistance is high, what happens? 
I simplify it like this. Huh? When resistance is high, potential difference is high. Potential difference is high at the base. And then after that, the base current flows and produces a large collector current flow. Okay, so you have to mention uh, which current, either at the base or at the collector ataupun the emitter. So it is usually IC. Okay, the collector current. Because the collector current is connected to the bulb. Okay, kamu tengok di sini ya. As I said before, yang di bahagian bawah ini, it is the base circuit. Okay, yang di atas adalah collector circuit. C, B, E. Okay. So when VBE increases, it will be able to uh, turn on the switch at the base and then current at collector, IC current will increase and then will be connected to the secondary circuit and then the bulb will be able to light up. Did you get it? Dapat sudah? So, ini dia punya flow lah. Bulb. Light up. Four step. Uh, dark. Dark condition. In dark condition, the resistance increases and then uh, the voltage at the base will increase and then it will turn on the switch at the base and then collector current increases and then it will be able to light up the bulb. Okay, so itu dia punya short form di sana on how the bulb will is able to light up. Dapat? This is a very popular question in the exam. Boleh? Okay, last last one. Last one ke? Oh, ada sampai four. Okay, the number D. This one is the calculation punya. D. Bulb M, level 240 volt, 60 watt. Starts to light up when VP has a minimum value of 2 volt. So at least this in adalah 2 volt for it to be able to light up. Um, and the resistance of resistor P is 10 kilo ohm. This one is 10 kilo ohm. Determine the maximum resistance of resistor S. Okay. Guna tu formula yang tadi tu, guna ratio. Coba kira berapa? What is the value of the resistance at resistor S? Guna ratio. Ratio of the voltage and the ratio of the resistance. Berapa yang kamu dapat? Udah kira?
answer. Dapatkah? Senyap saja ni. So answer is apa? So we just take this one. Two volt over total volt. Two over six equals to. Okay, Ellen got 20K. Okay, and then dia punya resistance ini is 10. 10 kan? Then over total resistance is 10 plus with S. Okay, 10 plus with S. So, cross multiplication, 20 plus 2S equals to 60. 2s equals to 40. So s equals to 20. 20 kilo ohm. Okay. So Ellen got 20k. I also got 20k. But let's check the answer. If it's a correct. Kalau dia betul lah. Ya yeah, betul. Okay. 20. 20k. Okay. Okay, last one. Number four. Question number four. All right. So the circuit in the diagram is used as a heat operated switch. Uh, what is component X? Ini adalah heat operated switch. So yesterday we have discussed, um, we have light uh, operator switch and also heat operator switch. So this one is heat operator switch. So what is the component of X? So instead of LDR, which detect uh, the light intensity, so to detect heat, what do we use? What is the name of the device? What is the name of the device? Lupa sudah. Starts with T. Thermistor. Yeah. Okay. Thermistor. Okay, next. Question number two. Draw the component X. So the thermistor it should be drawn like this okay this one is drawn vertically lah. yeah you can also draw it um horizontally okay next um name the terminals a b and c a apa b apa c apa what is a Parts of a transistor. So A is base. Okay, next B. And lastly is emitter. Okay.
Okay, next one. Um, C. Nah, sama juga dia punya pengiraan. In order to light the bulb, the potential difference across X must be at least 4 volt. Okay, so maksudnya di sini, it has to be at least, this one is, it has to be at least 4 volt. So the remaining voltage at the upper part, you minus from 10 is, it should be 6 volt. 10 minus 4, it should be 6 volt. What is the resistance of X when the bulb lights up? Coba kira berapa? What is the resistance at X when the bulb lights up? Guna tu yang ratio juga tadi tu. Same thing. You are given the value of R1 is 5 kilo ohm. Guna ratio. Answer six over six over ten equals to five over five plus x cross multiplication. 30 plus 6x equals to 50. 6x equals to 20. x equals to 20 over 6. Nang no, kacau kira ni. Is it correct? Yes, get check ah tu jawapan dia. Ya, yeah, betul. Okay, 3.33. 3.33 kilo ohm. Okay, 3.33 kilo ohm. And then last one, what happens to a bulb if X has a resistance of 1 kilo ohm? What happens to the bulb if X has a resistance of 1 kilo ohm? Kalau dia 1 kilo ohm, this one kan, uh, dia punya minimum value of the resistance at X, it should be 3.33 kilo ohm. But what if the value is less than 3.33 kilo ohm? Will the bulb be able to light up? No. Check the answer. Okay. So, kena buat itu calculation ni lagi macam tadi tu. Hmm. The, the bulb will not be able to light up. Because dia punya apa tu? Uh, minimum voltage, when it is calculated, it is less than the minimum value. The minimum value should be at least... 4 volt. So when you calculate it, um, the value is 1.67 volt. So it is less than 4 volt. So the bulb will not be able to light up. All right. So so far, some sudah tu dia punya konsep on how 